was meant to be a flat track motorcycle, it could be raced on cinder or dirt. Because this motorcycle doesn't have a clutch or any type of starting mechanism, the only way to start it would be to push start it. This motorcycle had 14.5 to 1 compression from the factory because it's an alcohol machine. So with that kind of compression, when you push it, the rear tire would just drag when it hit the compression stroke. There wouldn't be enough friction between the track and the tire to roll the engine over with 14.5 to 1 compression and alcohol trying to fire back on it. So you had to have the compression release. So let me show you right now with the compression release off, which means the motorcycle is making compression. When I roll this engine over, it rolls over fine until I hit the compression stroke. And now I'm at the compression stroke and I can't go anywhere. But now watch what happens as soon as I flip the compression release up. I'm still in the same spot. Watch this. It rolls right through. There's a little bit of resistance, but not much because the compression release is lifting that exhaust valve off its seat and letting the compression off. So that's gonna allow me to push start this motorcycle in a way that I really never was able to before. It was difficult to start on asphalt, but definitely difficult to start on clay and dirt without the compression release. Now I'm gonna be able to start that way for racing. Let's take a look at how this mechanical compression release works on the Harley-Davidson CAC Speedway Racer. And the way this compression release works is the way it worked on most motorcycles of really first three decades of the 20th century. From 1900 to the mid-1930s, the compression release would lift the exhaust tappet, which is right under this cover. And in lifting this tappet, you're going to push the push rod up and open the exhaust valve a little bit off of its seat. And once you open that exhaust valve, you're not allowing the engine to make compression because when you make compression in the engine, both the intake and exhaust valves are closed. So as soon as you open the exhaust valve, you're removing the ability to make substantial compression. And that's what this mechanism does. So there's a little cam inside this cover that's on the other end of this shaft. And as I pull this lever back, you're gonna watch up here on the top and you're gonna see the exhaust rocker arm raise, which is opening the exhaust valve. So as I release the compression release, all of a sudden on the compression stroke, you have full compression again. But when I engage the compression release, the exhaust valve opens. And the compression stroke is what makes it difficult for the engine to roll over. And that's what makes it difficult to start. This was a push start racing motorcycle you really needed the compression release to get the bike rolling, and then you dump the release and the bike would fire to life. And the reason I had to hand make these compression release parts for this motorcycle is right here on the casting for the rocker cover. That EX says it's experimental, and uh, these parts were just not made in mass quantities. They were made in lots of probably 10, 20, 30 parts at a time. They only made 12 of these motorcycles. So the odds of me ever finding these parts are slim to none because these parts are unique to this racing motorcycle.